You're a, a permanent makeup artist who has had their brows removed. And yes, I am. I did have my brows removed and I'll tell you why. Hi guys, I'm Shay Danielle. Welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm a permanent makeup artist. I have taught over 86,000 students worldwide and I love what I do. I love educating and I love helping people grow in this industry. You're gonna find tons and tons and tons of amazing educational permanent makeup related videos on this YouTube channel. However, today's video is all about removal. I have so much to say on this topic. I'm actually really passionate about it. So where should we start? Let's start with why people are having their brows removed, all right? So we've been in this industry for a long time. I've been in this industry tattooing for like 13 years now. And a lot of people out there have had their brows tattooed so many times. They're coming in once a year, once every two years. They're packing ink on top of ink on top of ink and they get oversaturated. They get really dark. They get blobby, blurry. You can't see hair strokes anymore. And guess what? You have to remove some of that ink before you can make them soft, airy and beautiful again, natural looking again. It is literally just a part of the process and it's becoming much more normal. The more we talk about it and the more we educate our clients on the fact that, yeah, this happens and this is just a part of the process. They are getting more comfortable with it too and it's our job to educate them. Another reason we're seeing removals is that, you know, unfortunately people are getting their brows done and they're not good. It's not good quality of work. Artists are working too deep in the skin. Artists are choosing too dark of a color. Artists are not working within the natural shape of that client's brows. They're giving them something like really bold and intense looking when really they should have stuck to something a little bit more natural and petite, something more close to what that client naturally has. So like a slight enhancement versus a full redo or do over with a completely new shape. That is not gonna age well over time. So regardless of why a client might need removal, they need to know that they have options. And really it boils down to two options. There is saline tattoo lightning and there is laser tattoo removal. Here in the studio, we offer saline tattoo lightning. This is an amazing procedure that pulls ink out of the skin. It's fantastic. We get clients calling all the time, you know, oh my God, I have my brows done somewhere else and I hate them, what can I do? Come on in for a consult. Let's take a look at them and see if you're a candidate for saline tattoo lightning. Here in the studio, we charge $199 a procedure. It takes all of 20 minutes and we see amazing results even after just one session. Now, depending how saturated that ink is, how dark that ink is, they may need multiple sessions. But the process itself is relatively easy. We tattoo a solution, a saline solution into the brows, just as we would if we were tattooing color into the brows. We allow that solution to soak for a little while and then the client goes home. They go through the healing process where the ink basically comes to the surface. It flakes off with the light flaking or scabbing that they're going to encounter with the healing process naturally. And that ink comes out of the skin. So it is a gradual lightening process. Clients that do really well with saline tattoo lightening are gonna be like a slightly lower saturated brow. So let's take a look at some examples of clients that I would say, yes, come in, we can definitely do saline tattoo lightening on you. So this one here you can see is definitely a candidate. And from this photo, which just disclaimer, I've pulled some of these images off of like Google image and Reddit. Um, these are not my clients. But going back to this photo here, this would be something that is called an emergency saline tattoo lightening um, treatment. So this client, you can tell the, the ink is fresh. She's had this treatment done within the last 24 hours. She hates them. I don't blame her. It could be better. And we have the option of doing emergency saline tattoo lightening. We teach you how to do this in our online course, by the way. We have a saline tattoo lightening online course, and we also teach the emergency side of the removal process. So if a client calls you in a panic, she's had her brows done elsewhere, they're awful, and we just had them done and I hate them, yeah, we can treat that. We can pull that ink out, a lot of that ink out, if it's within the first 24 to 48 hours, which is something you can't do with laser. I'll get to reasons why I love laser in just a second, don't worry. Now, if we look at this example, this is another client that I would take on for saline tattoo lightning. You can see there's some areas that are really sheer, but the saturation isn't too bold for saline. The color is a little bit lighter, which is great. You can still see parts of her skin throughout. I would absolutely take this case on. Now I will say this, there is nobody that is a, a red flag no for saline. There are just clients that will take longer for the ink to lift out of the skin with saline. 
and that's where I might recommend laser tattoo removal. This is a client who, if she called me in a panic saying, I hate my eyebrows, yeah, girlfriend, I'm sending you for laser. You can see that ink is very saturated in the skin. It's very, very dark. It's very bold. Saline is gonna take a little bit longer to get this out, whereas the laser can attack it a little bit faster. Now, if we look at these photos here, the first one that you see on the top, this was the one that I said was the emergency saline tattoo lightning client that I would take on. And underneath, you can see the saturation, the color, it's a lot darker. This is someone that I would say, look, we can do saline. It's going to take multiple sessions. I can't guarantee how many, or you have the option of laser tattoo removal. Laser is going to target how dark and saturated these brows are a lot faster than saline. Quick video break here, guys, just to show you shopshaydanielle.com. This is the website where you're going to find over 50 online permanent makeup courses, education on brows, lips, eyeliner, areola, paramedical, tiny tattoos, and more. Don't forget to check out all of the amazing permanent makeup supplies and products that you need as well. And if you're interested in learning in person with us, we do have in-person training here in Calgary, Alberta, Canada. So why did I have my personal brows removed? Well, I had tattooed mine 10 years ago, so the ink had been in there for a long time, and I tattooed them myself. So you can imagine they weren't as good as what I can do on someone else as what I could awkwardly do on myself. I used organic ink, and back then I put a little too much in my skin. So it had ashed out quite a bit, and they were a little on the gray side, which I didn't like. I wanted to warm them back up to a natural tone. Now the ink is all gone. I did do laser. It took two sessions and I can start fresh, which is awesome. It's so nice for people to know that that is an option for them. Now the one downside to laser tattoo removal is that when you're targeting really dark ink in the skin, the first thing the laser pulls out is the darkest color, which is usually that carbon black. And what that leaves you with is some orange looking eyebrows. It definitely showcases all the warmth in the color that's left behind. For some people, it's minor. You can see for me, it wasn't like terrible. In this situation, look at they're like bright orange. And some people don't want to walk around for six to eight weeks with bright orange eyebrows. I get that. But this is how the process of laser works. And then the next session, they can target that orange red tone and get you back to a normal looking skin tone. Now with saline, it doesn't do that. It doesn't target specific colors at specific times. It just pulls everything out evenly. So it is a little bit more of a gradual process. However, it's not turning funky colors along the way of the healing journey, which is why a lot of people will opt for saline over laser. Now at the end of the day, I am not a laser tech. That's why I'm not getting too techy with what I'm teaching you guys about laser but there are some amazing online resources. If you wanna learn more about laser tattoo removal, just search on this awesome platform, YouTube. And if you're a client looking for removal, you can always call and ask for a consultation at your local laser clinic. Now on the topic of saline, because that is something that we offer here in-house and it is something that we teach online, I can tell you it's an awesome procedure that really works. So long as you're managing your client's expectations and you're working with them, it is a journey to lift that ink out of the skin. It's a process, it can take a little bit of time, but you will get there. And if you guys wanna learn more about how to offer this in-house in your studio, then head on over to shopshaydanielle.com. You can visit the link down below in the description as well. We do have a special offer for all of you here on YouTube. It's YouTube 20. So if you type that in at the checkout, you're going to save 20% on the online course, which is so reasonably priced to begin with. You can see like one and a half clients and you've already made back the cost of the course. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, leave them below. Check out our online saline tattoo lightning course. You do have access to it for a full year with ongoing support as well. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel for more amazing permanent makeup education content, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.